Southeast Alaska. I'm your expedition leader, Jen Martin. Southeast Alaska has tremendous biodiversity. It is a wonderful place to get out and explore the wilderness. There are a lot of beautiful things here. We know that the scenery is amazing. We know that there's an abundance of wildlife. But every time we come, every trip is different because something will fall in our lap that we don't expect. It should be an amazing week and we're glad to have you with us. Welcome aboard. When I think of Alaska and I think of my expectations, uh, I'd have to say it has gone way beyond, exceeded my uh, expectations. All these little things that I got to check off, you know, it's fantastic, but they're big checks. They're huge checks. It's as if the, the crew here, uh, the captain has cued uh, the bears or cued the whales. Uh, uh, we've all been laughing about that, that it, it's just been one of those incredible, magical experiences that uh, I don't think could be replicated. I think for each individual, it is important to allow Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve to speak to you. But for every individual, there is something different to be taken away. I did expect to see some glacier caffeine, but I didn't expect to, to see it, you know, one uh, after another after another. I wanted to see humpback whales, uh, but once again, it's been taken to the next level. We got to see humpback whales actually bubble net feeding, and that was an absolute dream. We got to see bears, uh, you know, close up. This has been way beyond what I thought it would be. The vastness, the biodiversity, it's just been a tremendous cruise, and uh, I'll be back. That's what I can say, I will be back. One of the great things about doing this kind of voyage is that we have a lot of expedition tools at our disposal. And so when we find ourselves in some of the situations that we encounter, we're able to explore the place more deeply. So we use kayaks that we take out and explore, allowing us to really get out and stretch our arms and go exploring far and wide. Of course, every single day of the voyage, we're using our zodiacs, and they really are the key to our operation, allowing us to go ashore in places that we would never be able to see otherwise. Our engineers have installed a hydrophone system integrated into the hull of the ship. We're able to listen to the clicks and whistles and echolocation uh, over the ship's PA system. Our undersea specialist will take a high-definition video camera underwater and film fishes and invertebrates and then bring that footage back to the ship so that we can all see it much more clearly. The waters here in southeast Alaska are incredibly productive, nutrient-rich, and diverse. We find a whole range of living things from small invertebrates to stellar sea lions. You never know what we're going to find diving here in southeast Alaska but we always see something new and exciting, and I'm happy to be able to bring back the footage to show our guests. It's managed by the U.S. Forest Service. and one of the So far, I've talked about what we've witnessed, what's been around us as far as nature goes here in Alaska, uh, but I, I would be remiss if I did not mention uh, how great Lindblad National Geographic has kind of just, you know, teed it up, if you will, and they've been the most gracious of hosts. Uh, the naturalists know so much about what we're seeing and witnessing here. We have a geologist. We have a couple of people that are focusing on uh, birds, and we've got uh, wildlife uh, naturalists. We have an abundance of knowledge and enthusiasm and, and, in a way, love. You know, these people really put their heart and souls into their jobs. Yeah. Yeah. When you come on a Lindblad National Geographic expedition, every day is truly a once-in-a-lifetime moment. And even for me, I, I do this for a living. I'm out here every day, and I have seen things on this expedition that I've never seen before. I've felt things that I've never felt before. And it's our hope that when guests come, that they feel those same things in their heart, and that the wild becomes intoxicating, and they take that back and try to generate and inspire people to care for these wonderful wild places. In order to appreciate it more, we have an incredible staff here. They've heightened our experience here. They've just been tremendous. Oh, that was great. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Limbot Expeditions has a sustainable seafood program for over 12 years. It's been in effect now. 
And the way that works is we like to help out our local fishermen that meet our requirements that are sustainable. Today we find ourselves here in Petersburg and we're gonna be visiting one of our fish suppliers, selecting some of the fish. Today we'll be selecting some salmon and we're also gonna be getting some Dungeness crab delivered to us for our crab feast tonight. We are, uh, we're processing king salmon today. Uh, actually part, part of this is going down to your boat today. Just uh, delivered yesterday. We'll be serving this for our captain's farewell dinner. Yeah. Very right. special treat that we have here. Right. Here in Lake Blood Expeditions, we're very proud of our sustainable seafood program. Thanks, we feel that our guests appreciate knowing that the seafood being served is fresh, local, and environmentally friendly. So I think one of the most exceptional things about a photographic expedition with Lindblad is that we are prepared to meet you wherever you are on your photographic journey. For those folks who just recently got their cameras, purchased their Aim and Create cameras, we can meet them right there. We can go right on up to serious uh, amateurs, right up to professionally published people. We can hit the whole gamut. And we are able to meet people at all levels. And I think that's one of the exciting things about it. In this case, it's the red flowers. Get in there and you've got this radial so that leaf. Should have been in the middle. Then. We've had lots of bells and whistles. Didn't touch them. Here we found out what the bells and whistles, the buttons meant. Worked with them, practiced with them, and have an opportunity to feel pretty comfortable. Oh God, yes. Go vertical, go vertical to get the two. Oh, we got three up in now. Keep shooting. As we cruise along, literally at any moment, the call can come. But we have to be ready. Your camera's just got to be ready to go at all times. Full batteries, full cards, ready to go. And of course, as we're traveling these miles, our sightings are gonna be often, but you're not gonna know exactly when they are. It's a true expedition. We're not going to a specific point to see a specific animal. These animals could be with us at any, any time. You just have to have that camera ready because the moments are everywhere. It's just a matter of capturing them. I haven't been here in Alaska since about 1985. I used to lead these, uh, the expeditions here, but that was a long, long time ago. And this has been incredibly fun. I mean, to be here with my son and my daughter and to be here with all of you and all these kids and everybody having such a good time and kayaking and hiking and uh, looking at all these great whales, it really, really has been a special experience. This trip has been very exciting. We have um, seen a lot of whales. We've also been going kayaking. You could um, just kayak all around and you kind of have the freedom to kayak wherever you want. And then also yesterday we were seeing a lot of glaciers and ice. Yep, I would totally go on another one of these trips. It was super fun, educational, and you got to see a lot of wildlife. One of the really wonderful things about coming here with kids is it does kind of remind us that uh, it's important that we consider you know, what's involved in preserving places like this because uh, it would be really, really nice if they could uh, take their kids and have this kind of an experience one day. This is so awesome! My name is Susan Mobis and I'm a wellness specialist on board the National Geographic Seabird and Sea Lion. It's beautiful up here in Southeast Alaska. We have lots of different people coming up with varying levels and abilities, and so my class is more geared towards helping open things up and getting the energy flowing. My studio is outside, so it's this beautiful backdrop of mountains. This morning we had whales. We're just surrounded by the beauty of the area, by wildlife, and it's just taking all of this in is, is an amazing thing whether it's waking up and shaking and loosening and opening up to the day, whether it's lying down on the massage table to relax in that way, or taking an aerobic hike or a kayak um, around the island. All of these things help us feel better, get, get our energy moving. It's a very, very large component of what we're doing here. You can't talk about it, it's an experience, you know? The Haida Gwaii Islands are about 500 miles off the coast of Vancouver, British Columbia. We feel so privileged to be able to offer our guests the ability to travel to Haida Gwaii, to visit and interact with this community of First Nation people, to experience the art and handcraft, uh, some of the most extraordinary in the world. 
uh, firsthand from the artists themselves to travel up and down the coasts and see the extraordinary beaches where some of the totems over a hundred years old still remain weathered. I think that it's a really, really exciting moment in the history of Lindblad expeditions to be able to travel here to these islands and offer this unique experience. They've invited us in, not only to their villages, but their homes and their lives. That invitation takes you into a world you may have not known before you came here. A beautiful world at Haida Gwaii, Gwaii Hanas. An amazing world, a native world that you've never experienced. This journey is the most special journey of your life. Enjoy it. We've had seven full days of exploring the wilderness in southeast Alaska, and we've been treated to just about every ounce of wildlife that we could possibly want. And it has been an absolute incredible trip. This is really the only way to see Alaska. This is great to get to see it all. And there's really only one way to do it, and that's here with Lindblad and National Geographic. When you're out here experiencing these very same things that these wild animals are, it makes you want to do whatever you can to make sure they live on forever.